Hi, Kim Ed here. I'm going to show you the self-carving pumpkin demonstration. Self-carving pumpkin is a very popular demonstration uh, because of the loud boom that you get at the end. Basically what you do is you carve a jack-o-lantern, so hollow it out inside. And you carve a simple face, you don't want it to be too complex, into the front. And then you leave everything in place. Now it seems pretty obvious now, but with the lights dimmed and people standing well back, uh, it just looks like an ordinary pumpkin. Now if we walk around to the back, you'll see connected in the back I have a piezoelectric lighter. Uh, you can get one of these out of an old propane barbecue and just uh, lengthened here to run into the back of the pumpkin. And we open it up, we can see the two leads kind of poking out there. Test it out, see if it works. See a little spark. Looks good. And in that little plastic cup there, I have some calcium carbide. Now when I mix the calcium carbide with a little bit of water, it will produce acetylene gas. Acetylene plus the spark you can imagine where it goes from there. All right. Get that in there. Add the water, spray it in the cup with the calcium carbide. Put the lid on it. Right now the acetylene gas is generating inside the pumpkin. I just kind of want to mess around with this a little bit before you do it with students in the room. One, you don't want it to fill with too much acetylene because then pieces of pumpkin go flying everywhere. Two, you don't want it to fill with too little because then it's not enough force to push out the eyes and the mouth. I've usually found it around, uh, with the amount that I use, waiting around uh, 15 to 20 seconds usually does the trick. The longer you wait, the bigger the boom is going to be. Let's see if we can get a big boom for this one. And usually what I try to do is hold the top on the pumpkin so that the eyes and mouth get blown out. Pretty good boom. Are you ready? I think we should be good. Three, two, one. <laughs> So that was a pretty good one. Like I said, I waited a while. A lot of times this won't fall through. If you use a plastic cup, typically the plastic will catch on fire. And then not only do you have a self-carving pumpkin, but you have a self-lighting pumpkin. Awesome demo.